Yeah, we made your mama! Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> yes! Guys, thank you so much for joining today. Um, I asked you here today because we, we had a bunch of friends in the DW Presents tournament, and we noticed that you came in and runner-up, and I was like, I want to talk to the band. Well, Traverse the Abyss is actually good friends of ours, but I wanted to talk to you guys. But for those that may not know who you are, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote everything and anything. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, my name is Andre. And Sasha. Hi, um, everyone. We're vocalists in a Boston-based uh, major moment, which would be uh, hard rock, alt, alternative metal, metal, alternative metal, pop metal, whatever you want to call it, uh, type of a band. Uh, we have um, other members who are not currently present, but... Um, the two of us are originally from Russia, actually, and uh, moved uh, to the U.S. Um, quite, At a quite a few times. years ago. Yeah, I've been but... here for like 18 years. Sasha has been here for like 10 Nine, years. Yeah. Right? Did, yeah. you, did you know each other prior to moving to Boston, or is it just a coincidence that you're both from Russia and you met each other? Was I was it... traveling for the first time in the U.S., and I met him. Oh, that's <laughs> right. cool. That, that, was, <clears throat> that was way before a major moment. Yeah. Um, and then we kind of... Uh, thought that we should uh, not only have a personal relationship, but uh, what a terrible idea. <laughs> a relationship in a band. <laughs> For sure. Awesome. <laughs> we, why, why Boston out of all places? Was that, was that somewhere yeah, that, that uh, musically... That, that was another terrible idea. Sorry. Uh, love it or hate it, Boston is a beautiful place. Uh, and, you know, if you haven't been to Boston, you should definitely visit emphasis on visit uh but uh to live here is kind of miserable winters are not the best um you know it, it the... well, some people like cold weather oh, i like cold weather when i go skiing as well you know like for a day not yeah. for four months you know in the row and like well music wise is a little bit tough it's slower Boston. yeah the scene is kind of slower um I would say what's so the well. what's the predominant music scene in Boston right now? Uh, professional Berkeley, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's a genre. Professional Berkeley music, whatever that is. So jazz, I guess, uh, even though, like, you know, there are not that many places in Boston that Covers? play jazz. Covers, yes. Cover bands, 100%, yes. So so even though you guys had, had come as runner-up, I, I believe I saw footage that you had played a, a big festival or two in the past, uh, what was the name of that festival, and was that through DW Presents as well? It was not. It was Blue Ridge Rock Festival, and, and we played it two years ago. Wow! How did that happen? That's amazing. Uh, that so great. that that's a that's a that's a very interesting th thing. So like, we decided that you know we should probably research some festivals, and you know we spent probably I don't know two months just. You know, Googling everything and researching and everybody and emailing everybody, everybody, just spamming, like sending two, three hundred emails to festivals all over the world. We received a few responses out of those. Uh, Blue Ridge was uh, a no brainer. And we're just like, yeah, that lineup is sick. And, you know. We're, we're we ended so up playing uh, main stage as well. Yeah, we were actually opening the festival on the main stage. That, that was a good for you. you. Know, that is awesome. That was awesome. Uh, you know, and so, so we filmed it. As uh, soon as we walked off the stage, we're like, I would do that every again. Day. Let's do it again. <laughs> exactly. That so is now amazing. We're competing, now we're competing at uh, DW Presents uh, Twitch streams. Uh, to, for an opportunity to play another major festival. Uh, we're actually going to keep going with the competition. We decided that we're not going to give up. And No, we're not giving up, you know, for Excellent. sure. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So, for if, so if you're watching and you're in a band, uh, this is not a question, we're just uh, talking to chat for a second, but it, that is yeah. the definition of hustle right there. They sent out hundreds and hundreds of emails, taking not taking no for an answer, and emailed their way onto a major festival. 
That is, that is, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. I don't even really know you that well, and I'm proud of you. That is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, man. That is amazing. Thank so, you, bud. So uh, who, who produces all of Major Moments music? Do you have a go-to producer that you always work with? Oh, we yeah, do. we do. Um, well, we kind of started uh, as, you know, we, we kind of started producing our home demos uh, way before we released our first song. And then, uh, you know, I, I didn't know anything about production. Uh, and I was just like, you know, finding my way through trial and error. Um, you know, we recorded a few demos and then, uh, you know, kind of decided to go and record without even knowing that, uh, you know, what the producer does really. And then we kind of uh, toured a few studios. Was it like five or six different studios around Boston area? And yeah. um, we email, I emailed a, a friend of mine and he recommended me a guy up in Maine, which is kind of like two hours drive for us. So we were like, uh, I don't know about that. Let's let's go uh, check out uh, other studios around Boston first, right? And then you know through email conversations with Kevin, uh, who's our uh, producer, Kevin Billingsley, uh, out of uh, the Halo Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, just through the conversations with him over emails, it was uh, just clear that he's no the guy for the job. Him. Yeah, you just do right away. Yeah, we didn't even go to the studio. We listened to a few records he produced. Uh, our friends being one of one of theirs, uh, one of them, and then uh, just he just said, "I I know what your guys are doing. I I, I see the final product right there." You it's know, it's very important to receive this kind of feedback that early in the stage before we even like paid anything. Right. Um, which is what it was incredible and we already knew that that probably is gonna work and now it's been what we had just recorded a new album that's gonna yeah that's out. our our first full length <laughs> album uh, by the way um, it's yes um it's awesome. coming out this year oh, we're still working together before we jam uh dead if it's okay if i play that one uh, i want my co-host today is jb AKA JB Music, uh, JB the band right here. Uh, JB, what, what questions might you have uh, for them before we play play a song? Yo, I am just so dumbfounded that you guys were able to email and get you guys <laughs> a, on, a, on a tour date, like that's a ma or a festival date rather. That That is very big, uh, I guess, encourage, encouragement to me because I'm a smaller artist as well. Uh, my question to you is, did you guys have a template you guys followed or did you guys for the 300 emails did you guys write something original each time to, just to change it up to see what would would be working well we, we did kind of have a composer pitch uh, that we thought was more or less universal but then we would obviously tweak it depending on the festival and we wouldn't just like you know send one email with like 300 recipients there uh, right. Like every email we sent was a little bit personalized. Right. You know, if we knew the name of the person in charge, we would in, we would put the name there. You know, if we knew um, other lineups from previous years, like we would say, like you know, that would be a dream to be among such and such artists. Or if if the festival was in another country, we would, we would say that there would be a dream to play like in Germany or in in um, Finland or exactly something like that. Very cool. Well, let's go ahead and jam some of your music right now. This is dead. Have you have you had the opportunity to go back to Russia and play a show? Uh, yes, I I have actually. I played a couple shows when we were trying to promote our uh, debut EP, even before it came out. Um, for some odd reason I decided that that was a good idea it was a, another terrible idea <laughs> <laughs> Jesus well, yeah we're, we're just full of them yeah um, he also had to go alone which yeah is weird, like but... <laughs> you know you would think like oh the whole band would go no like somebody convinced me oh you should just come by yourself if like if it's a problem to get other people visas and all like yeah it's gonna take months Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, just come, just come by yourself and like with the acoustic guitar. I'm like, our music does not necessarily translate all that well <laughs> into acoustic versions. Well, actually, it, it does uh, the somewhat. The first EP was uh, kind of mellow-ish. Yeah, 
so that's exactly what I did. Uh, it was stressful, to say the least. Um, I don't know if it, uh, if people who were in the audience got the idea uh, right. Um, and I actually did a few trips. On, on my second trip, uh, I hired session musicians uh, just to play like full electric set uh, and whatnot. And and like some some of the songs we, I performed there, they were in a demo state with like demo lyrics. It, it was just uh, I don't know what was I thinking. But like, you know, see, the, the, when the opportunity knocks... We have a couple like... of posters from uh, Moscow and St. <laughs> right. Petersburg at major moments performing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right, so that was back in uh, 2018. And, and like, you know, when when an opportunity presents itself, you know, I just like... You jump on might it. As well. I jump on it. You yeah, jump exactly. on it. I, li well. I like that. I like that. Uh, did, did, you, did you guys bring the hot sauce? We did. You brought the hot sauce. Excellent. Excellent. I'm not doing this. What you got for? Ooh, hold it, hold it, actually, look, it. it could be a spice. Oh, we got a cup. What? 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 All right, we got a plethora. All right. We got. We got some. Uh, are you Are you up for chip thrill? <laughs> sure. Sure. Th that I sounds like a. I brought some friends too, so we'll get down All here right. in just a minute. But uh, to do the trivia, I need to know. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. <laughs> All right. Um, Holy shit. Well, <laughs> both of us are just... <laughs> uh, either so way. I, I know the most... We need. We really need like one answer, but you both can. You both can answer the question. So like two different answers when I ask the question. Can it be an old movie? Yeah. Sure. Terminator 2. Terminator 2. Hell yeah. JB, go ahead and shoot off another question. Let me look up some Terminator 2 trivia. <laughs> so my question, of course, is are, are there any plans on coming out to the West Coast if you're allowed to answer? Yeah. Um, we don't have any uh, gigs booked as of right now. We're kind of prepping um and the whole past month we were uh, scrambling getting ready to shoot music videos we actually shot three music videos in a month which is nuts it's a personal record right. and i don't know if we want to beat it <laughs> yeah. right I, I, i'm not trying to beat that record so on saturday we shot um, a music video for toxic which would be our uh leading single um coming out soon hopefully yeah. and uh you know, so we're trying to focus on that side of things for now. And then um, when we're done with that, we're going to start thinking about, uh, you know, coming, okay, potentially sure. coming to like West Coast or tours and, Please and do. all of that. Well, festivals would be an obvious yes right away because or like if another opportunity presents itself with a bigger band would want to take us as an opener. That would be an amazing thing as well. Terminator 2 trivia begins now. Or, 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 or. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, no. I'm Okay. <laughs> pop it up right now. Here we go. Oh, In Terminator 2, John can't stand his foster mom and his foster dad. He calls home. And and the T1000 has already killed his foster dad, Todd. What was Todd drinking when he died? He's drinking something that you find in the fridge. Well, that would be... That would be... I'll give you a hint. Have... If you remember, have... when he calls have... home, have... his foster mom has like the sword hand. Milk. Oh, that was milk. So that was milk. Milk is correct! Oh, yeah. Well done. Yeah, Well done. You do not have to consume the hot sauce. I will do it because I was not able to stump you. And it's going to be hot sauce number three, which is New Delhi cayenne pepper. And I'm yeah, gonna... I'll do it with you. Cheers. Oh, that... Well done. Yeah, cheers. Well Let's done. Go. Let's do it. Heck yeah. JB, shoot off another one. We're, we're being tortured real quick. It's kind of yummy. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just took some too. Um, so compared to your, 
your other music that you guys put out now, does this album kind of match your style or do you guys think it's more of a, a progressive style of of your music? Uh, <clears throat> so if you if you guys enjoyed um, um, the little piece of the song that you just played, Dead, uh, I would say our album is definitely uh, closer to that style of music. Uh, even might be even a little heavier than yeah. that uh, here and there. So, you know, it's not it's I wouldn't say it's very progressive. Uh, if uh, we were to put uh, ourselves uh, next to bigger bands, it would be somewhere along the lines of like newer Bring It the Horizon, newer Architects, Bad Omens. So a little heavier. Uh, Oh, so yeah, a little bit on the heavier side, uh, not as heavy as architects probably. If if they're heavy, if they're considered heavy at all, um, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for us, for us, for us. For you us, know, that's they they're they're they're. I would say they're not nearly as heavy as they used to be, but uh, yeah. still definitely a metalcore heavy yeah. heavy band or so. Um, mm, is they, is is the flood considered the fan favorite? It is. Yeah, definitely. Is that one so, that you guys well, usually say for like the last song in the set? No, we actually never played it last. No, funny, yeah. funny enough. So we we tried to open a set with like a banger and then close it with the banger as well. So that is our closing song. Yep. Gotcha, for sure. Well, I'm gonna try this one more time because I usually I I take pride in stumping the guests we have on the show. So let's try this one more time. All right. They repeat this many times in Terminator 2. But what date does Sarah Connor say Judgment Day is? <laughs> what well, date? You're not, you're not playing around, huh? So. I got to do a harder one because you got the first one. I got to step it up a little bit on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Come on. Um, so, I think we stumped him on this one. I think it was like, is it July ish? What year do you think it is? Um, nineteen ninety six, nineteen ninety. It's incorrect. Something, That's something. incorrect. I'm just stalling. I'm just stalling. That's not correct. It is August 29th, 1997. Enjoy enjoy one more swig of hot sauce. I'm going to jam the flood. Guys, if you're watching, please support Major <laughs> Moment. Hit the follow button. Support I was so close. I was so close. Yeah, that one's fun. The, that's the, the guy from from Maine that, did, that produced yeah. that one? Yeah, that's... Yeah, the... he now produces all our music. So, okay. Um... Or should I say, lately we've been kind of co-producing. Right. Finally, <laughs> um, yeah. But he's the the guy who taught me, uh, willingly or unwillingly, a lot about production. Yeah, he does and a great job. He says, yeah, and he says he's proud of me now. Which, <laughs> which is awesome. Well, I'm proud of you too, sir. Cheers, to Kevin. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've only had time for a couple more questions. Uh, JB, what would be a final question you may have for them? I'll uh, I'll, I'll do one more swig of hot sauce. Why not? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, yeah. So when it when, when it came when you to said, when you said so, sorry when you said trivia, <laughs> BG, when you said trivia, I did not expect it to be like a like a full fandom thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, it's oh, yeah. like I came prepared for you, my friend. <laughs> all right, all right. I should have made a Russian movie or something. We should have said no book or something. No, the, the one no. that we both watched. No, 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 no. Dang, the Notebook. <laughs> the Notebook <laughs> makes me cry. I've watched that movie ten times, and I, if I watched it eleven times, I still cry. I'll still get choked up. No, I, no, Sasha, you watched Terminator too. Come on. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry for interrupting you. All good. JB, uh, here. JB, what's your final question for them? My final question is not even music related, and I'm just very interested in when you guys first came to the U.S., what was the, the one thing that was hardest to adjust to? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what's okay. so, what, what did you think was weird about Americans also? Follow-up question right, so when you got here. I definitely have, I definitely have one I thing. I didn't find it um, hard at all. 
that's the thing. <laughs> that's my answer. Hey, <laughs> there's one thing I'm still adjusting to. Uh oh. And so that's the uh, the uh, measuring system. You oh, guys measuring have. system. Yeah. Well, that's. You guys don't don't believe in in metric. Uh, we're like the only we're like one of the only countries that doesn't believe in it too, and it must be yeah, annoying. Exactly. I get I it. That's a, that's not that's not necessarily true. I got a I got a gram in my pocket, also a nine millimeter <laughs> in my car, so I I don't I, I use it. Which is even weirder, right? Because <laughs> like when it comes to like fixing cars, it's all in millimeters, and then all of a sudden it's all in inches. So. Um, <laughs> So all of a sudden you're taking I, I, you're taking apart the transmission. You're just trying to normally do an oil change, but the directions because of the sizing gets you all messed yeah, up. So <laughs> for miles and for uh, pounds, it's easy because uh, a mile is roughly uh, like two kilometers, and then a pound is very close to uh, two kilograms. So that's easy. Uh, but when it comes to like inches and then like eighths of an inch or, or like three eighths of an inch like you got me lost there like why can't it just be <laughs> 10 like, that like, is funny who, who, who does the who does division by eight like damn you george would... washington i imagine it was yeah. our first president so, but uh guys I, I have one final question for you but it's a very serious one and we appreciate your time coming on here and hanging out with us um when you were at one of the at, at uh blue ridge I imagine you got to interact with with some of the more larger size artists di during that day. Did any of them give you a piece of advice that that made you just go, "Wow, that was really great advice. I'm going to incorporate that into my career." No, the thing is, like, we realized that we're such a little bug on that huge stage that we just tried to get the hell off the stage as soon as possible, <laughs> and like never come come even close <laughs> to it. When there are bigger artists well, on it. No, yeah. The second day we came back and already interacted more with the people around. On, on the performance day, we were so, like, concerned right. not to stand on anyone's way and just get the fuck out. Like, well, if, if, if anything, like, we, we just stood there and watched, like, other other people, um, you know, like, there, there was Shine Down, the, you know, guys from Shine Down that were literally, like, hands reached from us. It was but a we funny didn't, we didn't... moment when um, Cedar was about to go on stage and the lead vocalist was joking, like, right. maybe we'll cancel. Let's, <laughs> let's just cancel. Right. <laughs> joking cool. with, the, with the security, yeah. right? But, like, for us, it was just, like, fun to see them, like, up that close. And, like, we, it's not that we didn't want to interact. We didn't want to be a pest, you know? No, it, so. totally, it totally makes sense. Well, guys, I appreciate you uh, hanging out with us. If you're watching, please support Major Moment any way possible. You'll see it on the screen right here. Go there, find that on Spotify. Hit that follow button. Support them. Thank you both so much. We appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. Please come to the West Coast. Let us know in advance if you do, and we'll do our best to be there and bring a whole bunch of people to support you guys. For sure. Thank Sounds you guys good. so much for having us. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. you. Thank you very much. Major moment! Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! Thank you both. We appreciate it.